One of the goals of the Bayer Veterinary Care Usage Study was to identify why veterinary visits are down and more importantly, what kinds of activities can be engaged in in order to reverse that trend. So let's talk a little bit about the study before we share the results. The research team consisted of Bracky Consulting, who was involved in the project design and management, the NCVEI, who provided expertise in the economics of veterinary medicine and practice management, the field studies, the market research was done by Ipsos Forward Research, and Bayer, the Bayer Marketing Research Team provided oversight from Bayer. We also had a number of university consultants, including professors from Southern Methodist University, Texas Christian University, and Kansas State. Dr. Slocum and Dr. Crone from Southern, Metho from Southern Methodist University and Texas Christian University had been involved in the previous Bayer Brackey study and in the AVMA Pfizer Business Practices study. The three professors from Kansas State have also been involved in a number of studies related to veterinary medicine. Just a bit about the methodology. The first step in this study was an in-depth literature review to find out what kinds of information had already been gathered and what the, the trends were and the results of those prior studies. We also conducted in-depth interviews with veterinarians as well as with pet owners and then use that information to design a national survey of pet owners. This was an online survey of about 2,000 pet owners. The demographics of that survey sample matches the demographics of the pet owner population as a whole. The study has a very high level of statistical reliability at the 95% confidence interval. That's uh, plus or minus 2.1% for the results overall and plus or minus 3% per species, so for the dog or cat results. A national survey of veterinarians is, will be conducted in the second quarter of 2011 to follow up on some of the information gained from this initial survey. So key findings. Most practitioners don't know that visits are declining. They may know that their practice isn't as busy as it was before. They may notice that there are more open appointment slots than there used to be, but they don't really track visits. There are six key factors which are limiting veterinary visits. Veterinarians can impact the three most important ones. There are also very specific actions that each practice can take to grow client traffic and reverse this trend. And one of the most important findings of the study is that there are specific things that can be done that there is every likelihood will reverse this trend.